let's finish cycling this frag tank on today's episode of A Real Reef Hobbyist. So here we are on day 15. So if you haven't seen our previous video, I recommend you check that out. Um, in that video, we went through the Dr. Tim's fishless cycle. Um, it was a 14-day period of time using their success sheet that we were looking to try and cycle our frag tank. Uh, at the end of that video, it just didn't work. We still saw a very high level of nitrites. In this video, we're going to kind of continue that process. We'll shorten the testing to really just pH and nitrites. Uh, we know that our ammonia is zero. So we'll keep going, see how long it takes with our current setup without changing anything to see if and when that cycle will process. So day 15, let's take a look at our nitrites and pH. Okay, so looking at pH, we're still doing okay since our water changed. We did have that drop during our last episode where we did have to do a 25-30% water change based on the instructions on the Dr. Tim success sheet. Um, so our pH is good, but let's look at nitrites. Nitrites, still not good. Very purple. Um, no sign of that even dropping. It's really holding at that same level of purple. So we'll test it again tomorrow. Okay, today is day 16. We're going to do some testing. We'll check our pH and nitrates. We'll show you those results. And I think today we're going to add a little ammonia. Um, with the ammonia alert being at zero for quite a while, uh, that ammonia breaking down bacteria needs some food. I want to make sure that that stays good and healthy. So we'll put a few drops in. We're not going to do the full four drops per gallon. Maybe I'll put in 10 or 15 total drops. But just to give that, that bacteria something to, uh, to uh, sustain, and we'll, uh, we'll keep going. So let's take a look at those test results. Okay, so first test is pH. Looks fine. Uh, not dropping below that 8 range, so we're good there. And taking a look at our nitrites, still very much purple. Um, so we still have a long way to go on getting those nitrites down. So we'll see how many days this takes, and we will keep going. So let's add some ammonia for today, just to give the bacteria something to munch on. And um, we'll test again tomorrow. Today is day 17. Tank, again, still looks great. Very clear. Ammonia is very much still at zero or less than 0 0.02 parts per million. Uh, the ammonia we added the other day is definitely still being processed, so those bacteria are still doing great. Let's test the uh, nitrites and pH and see where we stand today. Okay, so our pH is still looking good. Somewhere in that knows what range, but not really down to that brownish color. So pH is definitely still good. Let's check our, nit check our nitrites. Okay, for the first time, we are seeing a drop in nitrites. That is definitely a lighter purple than we've been seeing. Definitely encouraging. You know, it looks to be closer to that 0.25 parts per million range. So let's give it another couple days and, and see if we can zero that out. But finally, finally, some encouragement there, maybe. Welcome to day number 18. Tank still looks good. Ammonia in the safe range. Let's check some parameters. Okay, so our first test, we'll take a look at our pH. Still holding strong. Definitely not down in that brownish range where we would be concerned. So pH continues to look good. Well, how about that? We are finally down to zero in nitrites. It took a while. It took longer than expected, but in the last two days is really when the magic happened. Yesterday started to show signs of the nitrites dropping and overnight from yesterday till today they are definitely zero. Bright blue. So I think we can say we're cycled. Let's check our nitrates and see where they are. Okay so just now that we're cycled I want to check our nitrates. Uh, looks like it's up in that 20 parts per million area. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a pretty significant water change. Maybe we'll do three, four, or five gallons, try to get those nitrates down, um, start off on the right foot with some lower nutrients, and we will move on to our next steps. Okay, so I just completed our water change. We'll give some testing for nitrates, see if it's low enough to be where we want to be. And now we're going to do something interesting. So with the frag tank, I want to have some kind of fish in there just to supply some nutrients to the corals. 
some waste. And what we're going to do is put a fish in here that'll serve that purpose as well as do some work. So once this thing starts cranking up, we start getting some algae and everything else growing, we're going to want something to help control that. So what we're going to do is acclimate some freshwater mollies to saltwater. They will be in here. They will be the fish that will um, eat food, poop, provide some nutrients to our corals while they're in here, and have a job. They're going to actually be the ones that will be picking at some of the algae and be part of our initial cleanup crew. If we put some cleanup crew in here now, we'd have no algae, nothing for them to eat. They would die. So what we're going to do is start with that fish. It's going to have different purposes for us. And we're going to do that on our next episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. On our next episode, we will acclimate some freshwater mollies to saltwater to serve as the first members of our cleanup crew and to provide a utilitarian fish to help out in our frag tank. Hope to see you there.